Shalom family trendsetter, all praises be to the most high power Hashem for allowing us to see another day. Hashem basically means the heavenly father, the creator creator of the universe, all right? We don't, we don't know who God is. I don't like to say all praises to God and shit. I could say the most high power, the higher power. Now, in this video, I'm going to be telling y'all some real deep stuff. Something for y'all to think about. I'm going to try my best not to cuss too much in this video because I know, you know, a lot of times, you sensitive ears, Christians or other, y'all don't like to hear cuss words. So I'm going to tell y'all what's really going on behind the scenes as far as these rappers coming up dead. All right. I'm going to give you my take on it. Now, just recently, you had King Von from Chicago, Chicago rapper, right? We heard, I'm sure many of y'all probably know about it. If you don't know who King Von is, I, don't, I didn't know who he was until it was announced that he was murdered. You know, they showed a video of him fighting with another dude, uh, Don, I forgot his name, whatever, but y'all, y'all, I'm sure y'all are aware of it. For so many of y'all who are subscribed to this channel, y'all into that hip hop stuff. But anyway, you notice like a bunch of rappers for the, since 2020 begun, you have a lot of rappers, especially, you know, these underground rappers. You have some that, that occurred in, in Dallas. You had uh, Pop Smoke, you had King Von. You even had another one just recently, I think yesterday, was murdered, you know, somebody that's affiliated with, uh, I forgot who it was, but anyway, some, you know, up and coming rapper. These are people that that's not mainstream, but they all making millions. They're making a lot of money. And the reason is simply because they're selling their soul straight up selling their soul. I'm sure y'all heard that, that terminology before, but it's real family. It's real. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to tell y'all how I know in this video, but if I don't make it in this video to tell y'all how I know, for 100% surety, I'll tell y'all in the next video that follows, right? But anyway, I want to share a story with y'all real quick and let me know what y'all think in the comment section. All right, so yesterday, actually not yesterday, day before yesterday, so that would have been, um, today is Thursday, right? November 12th. So that would have been, let's say November 12th, 11th. That would have been November 10th. So that was actually Tuesday, right? I got a call from a friend of mine, you know, a female, and um, she was telling me that her niece husband was missing from sunday right so over the weekend that passed um the backstory is that he dropped her off told the niece you know that he'll be back because um again you know i don't know too much about it but i'm just gonna tell you from what i what i gathered from what she was telling me that um he they just had a baby they had a baby that tuesday so you had tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday so about five, six days later, five days later, he got missing. He dropped her off at the at his house and told her that he'd be back. He just actually purchased a used car and he run taxi with it in Jamaica. That's the big thing in Jamaica to run taxi, right? Because right now the economy is a little bit fucked up because of the uh, coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? Tourism that fuels our economy in Jamaica is at a minimum because, you know, the, uh, the island, the, the country, then the country have shut down the majority of um, travel, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't want to bring all that corona shit to, to, to our country, to our small island, and in fact, our people. Because if we get that shit, we're we going to be decimated because we don't have the kind of health care like y'all have here in the United States of America. But anyway, everybody's trying to find some way of, of, of hustling. You know what I'm saying? You have illegal hustle and you have legit hustle. But anyway, this this young man, he was in his 20, early 20s. He decided, you know, he's going to save his money or in some cases, what they do, they lease these vehicles. They rent these vehicles from 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 owners, and they will have to pay, you know, every week or every month on it. It's like it's almost like financing and shit. But you know, you don't go through the bank and nothing like that. But that's what he was doing, right? So he left uh, Sunday and didn't hear from him Sunday. Remember, he just had a young baby on Tuesday prior to his uh, disappearance. So. On um, like I said, on Tuesday she called me telling me that she just got some bad news from her brother, stating that his niece, which would have been her niece as well, husband, they can't find him. But here's where it gets real suspicious and real fucking weird. So she said to me that her brother told her that you know, you know, I guess after all the conversation occurred. I guess a part of the conversation was that he said to her, um, he's going to give it until Wednesday, which would have been uh, the 11th yesterday, because today is the 12th, November 12th, Thursday, right? Today is November 12th, 2020. So he would have given it till Wednesday to make a link 
or a call. A link for us like a call, a contact to communicate, right? He's going to make a link with somebody that he know to put the word out that if they come across this individual, not to hurt him. Now, a lot of y'all like, huh? What? Okay, let me explain. There's a trend going on in, 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 in Jamaica, right? Where you have these little youngins, these little youngsters and shit. These little fucking idiots running around. They robbing people, carjacking people, taking their cars, their vehicles. And what they do is they chop the car up for money. Because these vehicles down there, you know, the, the parts are worth a lot of money. Because now I guess the pandemic is really affecting a lot of people financially. So people are just doing whatever. But a part of the criminality, criminal behavior... They're doing rich, rich, what's that word? Ritualistic killing, ritualistic killing. What they're doing when they take, when they carjack these unsuspected individuals, right? Not only do they take their car and rob them, but they literally behead them. That's one of the ritual. They behead them. And it's like a, a gang initiation, demonic type thing. I personally believe it's some kind of divination, divination meaning witchcraft. Because the way how they do it is that they literally kill them in a certain way, in a certain manner. Right now, a lot of people can associate to, to, to gang initiation. Okay, that might be the case. But the reason why I'm saying it's more um, ritualistic or it's, it has to based on it's based on witchcraft. I'm going to tell you another story that's more personal. Right. But I don't think I'll be able to tell you in this video because unfortunately, I only have a certain amount of time to record on this particular dumbass phone. So I'll probably save for the next video to show y'all that I'm a tie in where you have the rap music, even the reggae music. The music period has a lot to do with a lot of these crimes that's happening, these these um gang murders. Because, see, a lot of y'all don't understand, right? A lot of these underground rappers, they couldn't make it like the other, like the Biggie Small or the uh, Jay-Z's or whatever. So what they're doing now, they're going underground. And you have these devils, literal fucking agents of the devil these so-called white people right that deal with the, the music industry industry they're going into our community they're listening in on our demos you know a lot of these people are on ig or youtube and they you know they're trying to get noticed or whatever and these these devils are taking notice because you got to understand something family that when you sign your soul to the devil right you don't see the devil you don't see no red uh entity with a pitchfork and a horn you see a motherfucking white man representing the, the the industry that's who you sign your soul to the devil this the deceiver right and and basically these white people not not all of y'all but many of y'all most of y'all are are of your father the devil y'all are the serpent seed y'all are hybrids y'all are mixed in with humans and hybrid you know from another i'm telling you man y'all need to go watch my videos when i tell y'all about where white people come from you know what i'm saying not all white people are human you know what I'm saying? I would say 99% of them are not. They're hybrids. But I know I know a lot of y'all going to take offense to this shit, especially you white people that are doing this shit, so I'm not even going to go there. But when you sign that contract, a lot of y'all are ignorant to what is even on that contract. Y'all literally signing your soul to the devil. Because, see, what I've noticed even in Christian churches, right, Jesus Christ cannot accept, you cannot, all right, Jesus Christ cannot come into you unless you accept him in. That's why they always say you have to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Right. You literally inviting an entity that you never met because his name wasn't Jesus Christ, because Jesus, the letter J was invented in, in, in 1524. So we know his name couldn't have been Jesus. So who is the fuck or is a Jesus character that y'all invite into your lives to wreck your lives? No matter how much you praise or, or worship this this entity, this demigod, JC, Jesus Christ, well, Yahweh Shai, Yahushua, your life is not better than what it was the day before. So what's happening, family, a lot of these underground rappers are literally taking deals with the motherfucking devil, selling their soul. And now it's time to collect. So you got the soul collectors for 2020 going around collecting souls. You have some of these rappers, they've been around for a little bit, you know what I'm saying, for maybe a couple years or whatever. But now it's time to reap. Like I said, like I said, right, when you sign a contract, you're not, you know, when you're selling your soul. You're selling your soul to a, a representative, usually a white person. A lawyer is there with you or somebody's there to represent. But basically, they're not telling you what's on the dotted line because most people, all they think about is that in God we trust. That God, that God, which is that fucking dollar bill. You turn your dollar bill around, it tells you in God we trust on it. Y'all think it's the most side. No, it's the it's God of this world, which is Satan. 
that's who a lot of these people are selling their soul to. And to prove to y'all that the music industry is demonic, because if you really think about it, right, every time you hear music, it put some kind of emotion over you. Even when you go to church, before the pastor come out to preach to y'all bullshit, right, these prosperity pastors, these motivational speakers, they always have to do the praise worship service first to get you in the spirit of giving. Notice that if you go to church this Sunday, if you happen to even go to church, notice they always play the, uh, the praise worship music first before pastor come out because they have to get you get you in the spirit of giving. All right. The, the phone's about to cut off. Um, family, I'm going to piggyback on another video. Shalom.